Hey planner babes, it's Mandy from Create with Mandy and today I'm planning on my classic catch-all happy planner and I'm gonna be using my brand new beach day sticker set. I am so excited, these just came out in my latest um, shop release, they are so fun. We've got um, a deco sheet here, so cute. It was so fun to illustrate these little designs, um, love how they turned out. Then you can add on the boxes, sheet two, so cute. Um, they have the little designs in them and they match perfectly. And then I have also a journaling kit. So this is really fun, kind of like a bullet journal style or just journaling style. Got the days of the week and some little like trackers, little flags, a little washi and some cute stuff like that. So those are the three sheets that are part of the beach day collection. And let's go ahead and get planning. I've got Honey here with me today. She's over to the side. She's sniffing around, making sure everything's all good for us here, planning, I guess. Now she's actually watching me. Okay, so here we go. This is the week that I'm planning for, and I think for this week I'm gonna do um, a style that I haven't done in a little while, but I've done before, and that's kind of making all of the boxes and all of the like decorative stickers kind of go right around the middle. And I like that like style sometimes. I mean, it's gonna go above and below the lines, but mainly focused here in this like middle section. And it's came out cute. It's come out cute in the past, and I think um, it will again because I think I don't know what else I could put with these stickers, like from a different sticker book or something that would kind of match. I feel like these are pretty unique, and um, you'd have to find some really like pale colors. Um, to match this vibe and so I'm just gonna make it work without using um, another sticker book. Okay, so let's think about this. All right, I guess we'll start with some of these boxes and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this one and I'm just gonna put it over, maybe like overlapping the lines a little bit and kind of off center and just not staying in the boxes because that is always um, fun to do and I like how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and layer these two together and as I do this I want to kind of sprinkle in some of these decorative elements. So let's go ahead and put this little like beach towel or beach blanket just overlapping a little bit making cluster. <laughs> she, honey was rearranging herself in the chair. So cute. She's sitting in a chair like a person to my side because she doesn't want to just lay on the floor like a normal dog, you know. She wants to sit in the chair. Maybe I'll show, you guys want to see her? She's so cute and I'm in my mom's art room. Here we go. Hi, honey. <laughs> okay, so there she is. Now let me get back to planning here. But she is just a cutie watching me. Okay. I'm gonna put these two boxes down over on this side of the page. I think I want this one mostly on Monday. And we'll kind of layer this one here. And then now let's get to some of the big elements on this sheet, like the umbrella. And I wanted to separate the umbrella on this sheet from this one in the little box here. So I'm thinking it's gotta go over here somewhere. Maybe like that. And then maybe we can add a little box on Sunday. I wonder if the box should go underneath. I feel like it probably should. So let's go ahead and do that. Layer that over top and then see what other little thing we can put over here. I wonder if the bathing suit's gonna be too big or I don't want the blue next to the blue, so let's hold off on the bathing suit. It might go on the other side. The little sandals are cute. That would work like that. Okay, let's put the surfboard maybe on the left page. So cute. And let's go ahead and put a box on Wednesday. Let's grab this pink one and put it underneath the box or the surfboard a little bit so I've got all my boxes underneath and the decorative elements on top cute let's see if we want to add anything else 
think we're good there. Okay, I've got the little beach bag. That's so cute. Maybe we can add that right on top there. I love this. It's so cute. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe one more box on Thursday, and then we'll kind of try to fill in everything else with the decorative elements. So, got the little bikini, which is so cute. Love that. I wish I could like have this bathing suit. Nope, I don't want to do that because there's one right here. So let's go ahead and move it to this side. How cute. Love the little starfish. That's really cute. I don't know if I want it there. Eh. Oh, really, honey? Really? I guess she's getting bored with my planning. Okay, add the little camera there. I feel like I'm determined to kind of use up these sheets and just make it all with these and not have to rely on any other books. So let's see the surfboard. Let's go ahead and put it, we could do it in the sidebar. I could always do something like that. Cover up the to-do. Cute. Okay, and then we've got one more box here. Let's see where we can fit that in. Maybe over here. Oh, that's so cute. Love that. Okay, this other bathing suit. I really want to find a space for it. I guess we can put it over here like I was originally thinking. Got a hat. This is getting kind of full on this side, but that's okay. So let's do the hat over here. Got the little lemonade and the sunscreen left. And that's it. Like, wow. This is so cute. I love it. Uh, the illustrations, I just, like, look at this little cluster here. Surfboard, your beach bag, and sunscreen. Like, how freaking cute. Let's go ahead and put the lemonade there. And I think that is going to be it. Look at that, you guys. I finished both sheets. So fun and satisfying. I didn't use anything from the journaling kit, but definitely if I were to use this in, like, a bullet journal or just a journal um and have fun that way i think i would you know use some of these guys and layer like maybe the washi tape and stuff like that and just have a lot more like writing but since this is for my my planner i plan on putting like my to do's kind of throughout the week in these like empty boxes on the top or the bottom and then kind of like my main like plans or maybe my main to do's for the day in these boxes here and i think it'll work out really perfectly like that and let me go show you one of the spreads that kind of inspired this. I think it was the first week of January. So this one. See how I kept everything pretty much towards the middle and kind of had all my to-dos and stuff um, in there as well. I mean, I had some quotes along the bottom, which, which I like. And then I kind of did something similar this week, too. Um, you know, putting everything in the middle and maybe having a couple decorations scattered. So I guess we could try to find something like a quote sticker. So... I've got some books here to the side. I thought these three had some similar colors. I know I talked about not having to rely on anything else, but it is kind of, I don't know, there's no quote, and I feel like that's something I like to add. So let's just take a quick look to see if we'd like anything out of here. I know there's some good quotes in here, but I do wanna find something that is nice and subtle, like this one. Um, because I don't want to add a really bold quote because these aren't really bold stickers. So actually, I like this one a lot. Speak only good things to yourself. And you know what? That would just, I don't know, I just kind of put it here and I like it. I think it kind of fits into the cluster. And let's see if there's anything little. I mean, that one's not that little. Um, but I thought I'd seen some little ones, but probably a different book okay and then I don't think there was any good quotes in here maybe a couple you can like clear quotes there's a lot of cute other elements okay um and then biz babe let's see some good ones but they're 
they're pretty large, at least for what I'm looking for. I'm thinking of something real small, but I guess that will be it. The one will do for sure. It'll be good. So yeah. So just one little one here and I like that. It'd been perfect this same like style of sticker, maybe just like a little one right here or something, but that's all right. I can't, I don't have all my books with me right now. But that is going to be this spread for the week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and give this one a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe so you can see my future videos as well. As always, I will link everything down below, including the whole beach day set from my shop. Love it so much. It's so, so cute and perfect for summer, even spring and just, I don't know, it's just so fun. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.